how's it going guys it's Christian back at it again with another GTA 5 story mode video and guys as you can see I do have a police car that has like new different rims different tires a ram bar everything like that and in my garage and as you guys will probably know that you can't usually put or you can't really put police cars in your garage and actually be able to drive to them and stuff now just so you guys know you will need on one of your story mode characters at least about I've got 78 mil but you probably at least need about 200,000 maybe 300,000 um, and then what you guys will need to do from here is Stay tuned, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding around with you guys. Um, yeah, so, first thing you will need is, obviously, around about 200 to $400,000. And then, you need to go outside, check the garage, whatever. You need to have a garage as well, guys, so, just letting you know that. Um, and you guys should have money as well from the first heist if you have done the first heist not the prologue heist the jewelry store heist um and then guys what you guys want to do is just get any car so it doesn't matter like i'll just grab this one get out sorry if i keep sniffling that guys i've got a cold and bleh. um so you just want to then drive to Los Santos Customs, so... Um, oh, okay, I'm going to go back. So, I'm only just going on this one because it's the closest one to me. Um, so yeah, you... Oh, fucking hell. Keep okay, crashing. So you just want to... You just want to... Basically... Oops, crap. You basically want to just go to Los Santos Customs and you want to, if you can, this is why I said you need money, if you can, fully upgrade this car. I actually recommend doing it though, down at the one near Lester's place, because for this glitch you will need to go around about here to get the police car. You don't have to go to that one. But, yeah, that's... I just recommend going to that one. So, I will get back to you guys. And I'll see you in the next clip. And in the next clip, I will be at the place. So, guys, I'm just getting back up to... Oh, I'm... God, sorry, guys, I can't speak. But I'm just getting to that Los Angeles Customs right now. When you're when you are in this Los Santos Customs, just as I said earlier, just try and fully upgrade it. You don't have to fully upgrade it. Just try and just even if you go like even if you do just the 20% armor upgrade. And for me, I've got bloody 78 mil, so I'm just gonna fully upgrade this thing. Not gonna worry about the kit, the neon kit. Um, I had. Also, guys, a little glitch in one video, two glitches in one video. Um, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, this will work. So, just say you, what you know, how you can only get pearlescent with metallic or crew spray so all you do is you can go you can even go chrome and just go that go hover over metallic black for like five seconds one two three four five press back go plate and then just change the plate to anything respray primary color and then you got pearlescent 
I know it doesn't really work with Chrome because you can't see it. You can a little bit, but oh well. But there you go, guys. That's how you get pearlescence with a different colour instead of metallic. And the reason you do this, guys, is because what you are doing is um, the car, the like the police car, is going to be transferred over this, except the colour of the car won't stay the same. Only the tyres, oh, well, I'm pretty sure the tyres, but yeah, turbo, everything like that should stay on. Or, but even if not, um you will get a fully upgraded police car with, yeah. So, just, yeah. <laughs> and then just windows, and then once you just once you fully upgrade it, or as much as you want, just exit out of Los Santos Customs. And what you wanna do is, when you get to this bit here, so you're in front of the servo, or the petrol station, you're at this, you want to turn right, just follow this for a little bit, and then you will eventually see that there's a police station right here. And guys, I honestly like the um, I like the police bikes. I also like that car. But I'll do it two times for you guys. I'll do it with the bike, and then I'll do it, do it with the car. Okay. So once you do get the police vehicle, all you want to do is go down to uh, where is it? This place on the map. So where the helipad is. There'll be like two little stick things. Just make your way there. And make sure you have your lights on the whole way. Just make sure you have your lights on the whole way. I'm nearly there, guys. Just oops. Okay, so you want to come to this extreme sightseeing place and then come in. Oh, the helipads. Just go into the helipads, and then there will be this little boat ramp kind of thing and guys what you want to do is you want to drive into the water but when the siren or the lights and sirens stop that's when you stop going underwater see all right so that stopped and then what you guys want to do is just change to any of the character story mode characters so it can't be your can't be the same one you already had. Can't be your online character, so it's either out of Trevor and Franklin. So I'm gonna switch to Franklin. And then once you have loaded into Franklin and you finish like the little little prologue -like thing like this, what you guys wanna do is just walk around for five to fifteen seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright, guys, and then what you want to do is once you have been walking around for 15 seconds, and you swap back to whatever character you did, like you did the um, glitch with, 
and then you should see that look what he is driving he's driving if no it like kind of got stuffed up in the water he Michael is still driving the police car or the police vehicle the police bike and then once you have loaded back in this Michael or whoever you did it as then you can take it up to one of your garages and then just then that's when the magic happens I guess Hey, psych, I'll join in a second. I've just got to finish this off, okay? Almost finished what? Oh, crap. Guys, it doesn't matter if you crash or anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter if you crash. It's fine. Just make sure without dying or whatever you just get up to your garage wherever it is and then and then this is when the magic happens see now you can put it in your now you can put it in the your garage and look at that, the lights are still on, that is so funny. Alright guys, and now I will try it one more time for you guys, but with that other car, the, um, like the normal civilian type police car. The other one that I said I really liked. Sorry, Saka, I won't be a moment. Alright guys, so just again, just do the steps again. So I'll I'll go do all the steps and I'll, I'll see you guys back at the police shop. Well the police station. Guys, I'm just gonna you can do it with Michael. And you don't have to use the police cars I do. You can like you know how I used the bike before, you don't have to use the bike. You don't have to use you, yeah. You can use any car you want. So I'm at the place right now. Oh, the Los Santos Customs, just getting it maxed out.
Whole ass niggas. Man, if you channel half that energy into getting the ass, you'll be the man. Man, bitches smell a punk a mile away, and I ain't no punk, nigga. Shit! Five oh five. 